Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. So much nicer outside today. The conditions are shaping up to be drier and a little bit warmer in spots. We do still have to watch for those toward the Midlands and the coast for some stronger weather today. Uh, still dealing with the storm threat in those areas. If you have any plans to travel that direction today, have an umbrella and stay weather aware. But locally, for the first time this week, we are not under a severe weather threat. Couple showers are still popping up into Kentucky, Central Tennessee. Eventually, we'll see this ramp up a little bit and approach our area. So while we are dry right now and you'll see some sun this morning at times as the clouds pass by, you could see a stray shower. No big storms though locally for your day today, which is great news. Couple clouds are a little bit thicker from Spartanburg down to Lawrence Fountain Inn and Simpsonville also seeing some pretty thick clouds along with Abbeville, but otherwise we're already seeing a clearing sky in spots, so you should get some sun to come through. Future cast shows that minimal rain passing by every now and then from the mountains into the upstate storms really limited down to the deep south of this uh, Columbia area as well as down into the Midlands. We could see some of those stretch all the way down to about Florida. So lots of uh, southeastern states still on alert, but locally we do not have to worry. The full clearing when we get back to a purely sunny sky comes between tonight and tomorrow morning. So your Thursday and Friday look even better than today. Temperatures right now sit in the 50s for the most part in the mountains. We've got lower 60s here in the upstate Northeast Georgia also in the lower 60s at this hour. Visibility looks pretty good. The upstate doesn't really have much in the way of fog. Northeast Georgia also looks good. The mountains, though, dealing with some patchy areas. Rutherfordton up to about Marion and out into the Franklin area of Macon County, all seeing about quarter to half mile visibility. That's enough to slow you down. Not super traveled areas, but if you're on I-40 in the mountains, you might deal with that. So slow down a little bit on roads. Chris will monitor that too from the traffic center. As far as rain today, it's about 20% for the upstate. So generally, you'll see a beautiful mix of sun and clouds. Highs reach 80 degrees and you'll have a breeze about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that wind will stick around. North Carolina also a little breezy at times today, but still gorgeous as the showers fade. Highs reach 73 degrees, so it's not a perfect day, but it is good enough that I'm going to go all the way up to about an 8 out of 10 on your Carolina sky meter, so not so bad if you wanted to spend some time outside. Tomorrow's even nicer. It's a little cooler, but very comfortable. 70s with sunshine, more of the same on Friday. Over the weekend, the warmth starts to kick back up again, and we really don't have any real rain to talk about except a brief shower Friday. Friday in the mountains and then more wet weather next week. We want to get to your weather camera now sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. If you're riding today, get out and do it. Just be prepared. You might find a brief sprinkle, but you'd be able to maybe hide under one of those overpasses for just a quick minute or two and then get right back out on the roads. No other problems are expected. Just watch for some stronger wind on the overpasses as well.